Hello, Zephyr's community, and welcome back to No World Thanks Concert Video. So, in this video, I'm going to be playing the brand new tier 10 German TD, which is this is the fourth German TD to go into the game. This is Thurman Tiger. So, it just got added an entire line from the tier 5 to tier 10. And I'm going to be making a video on every single tank, starting with its Thurman Tiger. So, yeah, let's go on. Look at the crew, look at the equipment I put on this tank. So, I put the equipment I recommend putting on this tank, like the entire line, is the Advance Reload. Definitely, 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 definitely. It comes in handy so much because it long reloads and two different types of shells. And you don't know if you need to penetrate, do penetrations, or splash damage. So yeah. Also... Enhanced target info, advanced loader, and advanced gunling drive because your accuracy is 0.45. Also, my crew skills are born litter, rapid loading, dead eye, silent driving, situational awareness, sixth sense, clutch braking, steady aim, and run and gun. So, yeah, that's the nine skills I have on this tank. Now, you may be thinking, like, why do I have a running gun on a tank destroyer that's already really accurate? I'm not going to be shooting on the move. Exactly, I won't be shooting on the move. But, the yaw limit, what that means is how far you can turn the gun left and right, is 4 degrees left and 4 degrees right. So, you're going to have to move the tank to get your shot onto target, so it keeps your gun, your accuracy your circle your aim circle small so that's why i'm running gun it's on there also heat um dead eye it's fantastic for this tank it's a 380 millimeter caliber gun and heat rounds are the only type heat rounds actually dead eye affects heat rounds so more chance of ammo racking tanks more chance of setting tanks on fire more chance of destroying everything on the tank yeah. So also, Stern Tiger just before just knocked out the gun. I fired a premium high explosive and did 832 damage. Now premium high explosive does 1700 damage. And its penetration is 115. Also, you're gonna be seeing it in a second something that's very special about the premium high explosives, and that. And it's blast radius. The blast radius on its premium high explosive is 12.87 meters. That's insane. That's the length of two Sturm Tigers. Okay, the Sturm Tiger is about 7 meters long. Add another Sturm Tiger in front of this Sturm Tiger. That's your blast radius. And that is how I'm going to also... I'm going to get the kill on the E4. I'm about to show you how I do it. As soon as I load, I'm going to be loading the premium high explosive. I know I have 12.87 blast me um, splash damage. 12.87 meter splash damage. E4 went behind cover. I'm just going to shoot, shoot a mound right beside the E4. Even though the E4 is in cover, I'm just going to be shooting right beside the E4. Hitting the cover right beside where he is. And just killing them because of splash damage. Because the splash damage is so huge on this tank. And yeah. Also, I do want to say this. If you end up liking this video, consider subscribing because it helps the channel out a ton. And it's free to do. And you can always unsubscribe later. So, the Conquer Gun Carriage. A tier 10... British artillery that has a huge gun, second biggest before, this is now the third biggest gun in the game which is the Conquer Gun Carriage its splash radius is 11.1 .1. now the T92 which is the second biggest gun in the game, it's the 240 millimeters big and it's 11.64 meters, so that means the Stern Tiger which is now the king of the biggest gun and also has the biggest splash radius by 2 meters. Think about that. That's huge. 
So, yeah, let's also talk about the rate of fire on this tank. This tank gets 18 rounds. Oh my goodness, controller, stop. This tank gets 18 rounds. It fires 1.94 rounds per minute. It's standard rounds, it's heat rounds do 1,300 damage, okay? Which gives this tank a DPM of 2,522. Now, like I said, the two high explosive, your other two rounds are high, premium high explosive and high explosive. And I just hit that conquer, I mean, not conquer, the Conway really hard. And yeah. So, yeah. it It's the high explosives. 17. The high explosives both have 1700 damage they can deal. They both have 115 penetration. And the only difference is their. Uh, what's it called? Splash radius. Also, this is the first game. I'm about to get to the second game after we go over the post battle results. I do want to mention right quick this tank, <laughs> you don't make silver in it. Just think about a 4005 or a Death Star. You don't make silver in those tanks. You don't play those tanks to make silver. You play those tanks to have fun. You play those tanks to be unique. Now, the Stern Tiger is actually a very, very, very unique tank. And I don't think there's any tank in the game, unless it's in this line, that plays like this. I don't think there is. The closest you could probably get to is a KV-2. So this is a tank destroyer that has okay armor. So if I go back to the tank destroyer, go back to the Sturm Tiger, this tank destroyer actually has, it, it has okay armor at the front. So at the front of the tank, its armor is 190 at front. Also, you have 85 degrees of gun elevation, so you can do that. And you also have four degrees of gun depression, so. This tank looks weird when it's pointing its gun in the air. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Anyway, the armor is 190 at the front, at the top plate and the lower plate. Your lower plate is actually your weak point on this tank, and it's huge, and everybody loves to shoot it. Your side armor is not really that good. It's only 80 millimeters thick, which, now thinking about it, it's pretty decent. And 60 on your lower side plate, so... Side scraping somewhat works in this tank, but at an angle. Also, you see in the game on Pilsen that I was, I blocked about 3,500 damage. And that's because you don't want to be facing your t the tanks that you're shooting at um, when you're trying to block shells. You're trying to, also here's a shot on the IS-7. Look out, I'm gonna switch to the normal high explosives. Hit that guy for 600, 609. Keep in mind, I just hit his ammo. And I'm just going to reload. So, yeah. Like I was saying, angle your armor when you're going to, like, get shot at. Angle your armor. And, yeah. Also, goodbye, IS-7. We just Amorite at IS-7. <laughs> because high explosive. And we just hit the IS-7 IS back in the armor of uh, the Amorak. Now, Sturm Tiger is, is decently mobile. It has a horsepower per ton, 13.38. And its forward speed is 38. Its reverse speed is terrible at 13, I mean 12. Also, we just pinned our heat round against the 705 Alpha. So, let's talk about how to play this tank, since this tank is very unique. Super unique. It doesn't have the best of armor, but also the gun is pretty inaccurate. It's, you want to be in the front lines because two reasons. One, the accuracy of the gun. And the second reason is because of the shell velocity. Now the shell velocity really, really is really bad on this tank. For your heat rounds, it's 385 meters per second. That's very slow. Your high explosives, your two high explosive, premium high explosive, and high explosive, your meters per second is 465. 
Now, how you want to play this tank is you don't, you can't snipe. You can't be the brawler because your armor doesn't really hold up and you're big. And yeah. So you want to be like a second line support tank. And you really want to use your high explosives and your premium high explosive. Mainly your premium high explosives to take out tanks. Like, the pre- especially, you want to find, like, tanks that are grouped together. And you fire a premium high explosive in there, and you just hit a whole bunch of them. Like, I, um, I didn't mention this, but on the Pilsen game, when I was shooting at the Conway, or the version 5, I think I hit, I hit the Conway, or I hit the version 5, and the tank right beside it also got hit for, like, 400. So, because of the splash damage of this tank is extremely high so you really want to use your high explosive as much as possible rely on your high explosives and when you can shoot heat rounds because you don't want to shoot heat rounds all the time because heat rounds get absorbed in space armor and you only have 280 millimeters of penetration that is good penetration but there's sometimes that penetration is not good enough like you're fighting type 5s a mouse or something like that and you need more penetration but you can't get more penetration so you'll just switch to your high explosive round and just do like 400 damage and if you're lucky some tank will be right beside the tank that you're shooting and you also damage two tanks now, this will actually be a really good tank to get the Bombardier Metal in. Well, this entire line will. Because of how big the splash radius is. If you don't know what the Bombardier Metal is, basically kill two tanks with one shell. And I almost did it multiple times today. There was this one time on Helmstorf. I was actually going to include that replay. And yeah. I was going to include that replay, but didn't was able to didn't really show off the tank but anyway i shot at a stern tiger there's two stern tigers right beside each other and i shot my premium high explosive and i nearly killed both of them i did 700 damage to both of them and both le and left both of them like 50 hit points from death also another thing about your premium high explosive because of the giant shell velocity I mean, splash radius, light tanks. Light tanks, light tanks. Light tanks are fast. You had giant shell velocity. I mean, splash damage. Shoot the light tanks. Shoot in front of light tanks. It did, you don't even have to hit light tanks. Just shoot anywhere close to that light tank, even if it's going full speed. Even if you miss, you're going to damage that light tank. You're going to... You may even track it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, also, rest of my face, because while we're not, and peace out, see ya.